Hi, the following short film just tries to uh, outline the uh, principles of the use of a system of thinking called synectics. Synectics helps us to explore logical connections between words to arrive at something which appears to be somewhat illogical. In essence, what we're using is a linear system of thinking to arrive at an outcome which appears to be the result of lateral thinking an ideal strategy for artists in particular. So let's look and see how it works. First of all, we need a brief or a subject to use as the focus for the table that we're going to construct. Uh, at the moment, my students are using the theme of surfaces, so we'll use that as the keyword. So let me just uh, select my pencil here and just write the uh, surfaces. Put in inverted commas just to make it look pretty. Okay, so that's inverted commas uh, around our surfaces. So we know that that's our theme. Uh, and one of the first things to do uh, when you're using a synectic system is to perhaps uh, list all the words that come to mind under that theme. So uh, I can think of things like um, uh, hard, with a hard surface maybe. Uh, the opposite of that would be soft. Uh, we could have textured. Uh, we could have colored. Uh, we could have beneath the surface. Uh, we could have reflective surface and so on and so on. So we could create a really big list of words which will give us a starting point for the synectic system. What we need are words which we can use as keywords as starting points and then we can apply the system to change those starting or keywords into something else. So let's make a table first of all. If I select some straight lines um, as all tables need to have straight lines, we we'll make a make a simple grid. That'll probably do us. Um, and then we'll divide this up into some sections. Um, you can see I'm not being too precise or too fussy here. It doesn't have to be, especially if you're doing things in your notebook. It doesn't really need to be. Um, and then. We're going to just put some labels here. So we've got, um, actually, if I go back to this, we can, uh, that's the word or keyword goes first. Um, and then we'll just write in here feels. We'll see what I mean as we get to it. It feels like. And then in the next one, we'll put opposite. And again, we'll go back to the feels or feels like. And then we'll come up with our conclusion word or uh, our um, the word that we, uh, the outcome is probably a better word, one that uh, explains everything. Okay, so we'll put outcome here. Yeah? Uh, right, let's put another line in just to divide this up so we know that we're on. Uh, we're looking at different things and we'll go back to using the pencil. Okay, so let's just pick any one of these words to start with. Um, I'm going to pick uh, this one first of all, I think, textured. So we'll use textured as our starting point or texture. So we've got a keyword texture. So when I say the word texture, what does that feel like? What does it make you think of? Um, first thing that comes to my mind is rough. So I'm going to write rough in here. Remember, you may have come up with a completely different word to this. That's fine. There's no right or wrong way of doing this. 
as long as you start with a keyword and end up with something here which is different to the keyword then that's all you need to do uh, that's what we're aiming for so the opposite of rough if we look into this col uh, column here would probably be smooth and again if I say what does that feel like to you or what does it make you think of um, I'd think of glass and our out outcome for the purposes of perhaps producing a body of work artwork based on surfaces would for me perhaps be things that are either behind or are affected by glass uh, it could be pattern glass it could be anything so we'd be looking at an outcome which would be based upon glass let's just try it again we'll, we'll use the same word texture to start with we could go the other way and use smooth which of course then the opposite would be rough so we'll get to that in a moment so that would be rough um, rough makes me feel of pap stone And my outcome would then perhaps be a body of work based on drawing, photography, painting, all based on uh, stone surfaces, or st the uh, different types of stone uh, that I could perhaps find around my house or uh, on the coastline. It could be weathered stone, anything to do with that. So you can see we've gone from a starting point to something um, that's still dealing with texture. But it's gone through a process, a simple, a simple process of, uh, of um, changes to get at, towards another outcome. You can do this time and time again. Um, we could do it with coloured, we could do it with beneath. That could be beneath the surface, for example, or reflective. Um, and start with something uh, like reflective and end up with something that's perhaps seemingly totally off the wall but that's the beauty of it it actually looks as if you end up with something that sometimes has no obvious connection with the starting point and that's the beauty of Synectics